Hi, my name is Josh Johnson, 2011 National Pastry Champion and instructor at the French Pastry School in Chicago. Today I'll be assembling a fraisier, which is a French version of a strawberry shortcake. A fraisier is a classic French pastry with delicious ripe strawberries sandwiched between two soft layers of cake with a light custard filling. It's a French delicacy often served at weddings and special occasions. Let's begin with the base of this dessert, which is the hazelnut cake. Start by hand mixing butter and salt, then add the trimoline. Using a spatula, cream the two ingredients together. As you hand mix, you may find it helpful to use a small scraper to pull ingredients off the spatula and back down into the bowl to ensure it is also thoroughly mixed. Pour in egg yolks combined with hazelnut oil a little at a time and incorporate them into the batter with the spatula. You do this until all the egg yolks have been added and mixed well. Next, sprinkle in about a quarter of the dry ingredient mixture which is made up of powdered sugar, hazelnut powder, and bread flour that has been blended in a food processor. Mix this together with your wet ingredients. Continue to add the flour in small amounts at a time until it's all completely incorporated into the batter. Next, place the egg whites, egg white powder, cream of tartar, in a stainless steel mixing bowl with the whisk attachment. Mix first on medium speed. Next, add half the sucrose slowly to the egg white mixture and increase the mixer speed. Continue to increase your mixer speed higher and mix until you have nice stiff peaks. Using the balloon whisk, spoon about a third of the egg whites into your cake batter and then return the remaining egg whites to the mixer and mix on high. Gently fold the egg whites and batter together until it is thoroughly incorporated. Again, it could be useful to use a scraper to pull the batter to ensure it is completely mixed. Repeat this process until all the egg whites are incorporated into the biscuit mixture, which should look firmer and fluffy. The next step is to pour your batter into a 160 mm cake ring, making sure it settles evenly. Immediately place the cake in a convection oven. Vent open at 150 to 160 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes, depending on the size of the mold. While the shortcake is baking, you can prepare the filling for the fraisier, which is a light custard type of creme. This particular filling is a creme anglaise buttercream. Chef Johnson begins by emptying the butter into the stainless mixing bowl. Slice a vanilla bean in half and scrape it with a paring knife. Then place the vanilla into a mixing bowl. You will do this with a total of three vanilla beans. Add salt and mix this all together with your electric mixer on high until light and fluffy. Next, in a saucepan, combine milk, sucrose, and egg yolks together and simmer it over low heat, mixing it all together. You don't want the temperature to exceed 82 degrees Celsius, so place a thermometer in the saucepan and continue to cook it until it reaches a nap consistency or until it coats the spoon. Remove the vanilla butter from the electric stand mixer and in a new bowl, pour the egg yolk mixture. Then using the stand mixer, whip on high speed using a whisk attachment. Now you are ready to prepare the meringue, which will make the filling light. Use another saucepan and add water, sucrose, and glucose. Be sure to use a spatula to get all the ingredients from their containers into the saucepan. Heat this mixture to a temperature of 121 degrees Celsius. In a third mixing bowl, add in egg whites with the cream of tartar and egg white powder. Now is the time to check on your egg yolks. They should cool while mixing and become ribbon stage-like. Once that happens, remove them from the mixer and set the bowl off to the side. Now, mix your egg whites on high speed. After a few minutes, slowly pour the sugar from the saucepan into the mixing bowl on high speed. Continue to mix on high speed until you achieve the fluffy consistency of a meringue. 
Remove the egg whites from the mixture and spoon the vanilla butter into the fluffy egg whites. Place it back under the electric mixer on high speed for just a few seconds, making sure to get it completely combined. Now it is time to incorporate the egg yolk mixture with the meringue buttercream mixture using only small amounts at a time. Pour in the remaining egg yolks and again using a spatula, fold it all together until completely mixed. The final step before assembling your fraisier is to make the Italian meringue for the frosting. In a saucepan, pour your water, sucrose, and the glucose. While that's heating, pour the egg whites, cream of tartar, and egg white powder into a mixing bowl. Stir them all together and mix on low speed. Once the sugar and water melts down to a clear liquid, turn the electric mixer up to a medium speed and slowly pour the sugar mixture into the mixing bowl with the egg whites. You then want to turn your mixer up to a high speed. Once the egg whites are a fluffy consistency, remove them from the mixer and add your room temperature butter. That all goes back under the mixer on high speed until the cream is pale and fluffy. Your shortcake should be done. Using oven mitts, remove the cake from the oven. It should be lightly firm to the touch in the center. After the cake is cooled, turn the cake ring on its side. Use an offset spatula to cut around the outside edge of the cake to loosen it from the cake ring. It should easily separate from the ring. Using a serrated knife, carefully cut around the top edge of the shortcake, cutting completely around the cake, removing the top to have an even surface. This will also help you cut even layers. Take your knife and about a third of the way down the cake, cut around the outside edges again until you make a clean, even slice through the cake. Repeat this one more time to give you four layers of shortcake. Using a scraper, clear the crumbs from your cutting board and stack the layers all together. Now it's time to assemble your layered fraisier with the hazelnut shortcake, strawberry slices, and creme anglaise buttercream. First, using acetate, measure around the outside of your cake ring. Cut a strip of the acetate and place it on the inside of the cake ring. Next, prepare a disposable piping bag by cutting off the tip and place an 11 mm tip into the bottom of the bag. With a spatula, fill the bag with the creme anglaise buttercream. Use a scraper to push the buttercream to the bottom of the bag and into the decorating tip and set it aside while you prepare the cake. Take the bottom layer of your shortcake and place it in the cake ring. Then pipe a layer on top of the cake. In a circular motion, start on the outside and make one ring around the cake. Then move to the middle of the cake and in the same circular motion, continue piping the buttercream until the entire cake is covered. Next, layer your sliced strawberries, pressing them into the cream. You should place them side by side in a spiral pattern around the cake. Pipe another layer of buttercream over the top of the strawberries and then add more creme with a spatula to make sure all the strawberries are completely covered. Place your second layer of shortcake on top of the strawberries and buttercream. You want to press it down with a scraper to make the cake compact so it will hold together. Repeat the same process with the buttercream, piping it in a circular motion and adding your strawberries with another layer of cream. These particular disposable bags have a coating on them that prevents slipping and makes it easy to work with buttercream. Add the third slice of shortcake to the top as your final layer. This clear, flat acrylic disc, made at the French Pastry School, helps to carefully push the cake down to form a uniform and even top. Then place your cake in the refrigerator to cool. For the final preparations, you will need your prepared Italian meringue, a saucepan, and a rotating cake stand. Take the cake from the refrigerator and carefully slide the ring off of the cake. Move the cake onto the cake stand and peel the acetate from around the side of the cake. With a spatula, spoon a small amount of meringue onto the top of the cake. Then use your offset spatula to spread the frosting across the top layer. Clean the excess frosting off the spatula, then go over the top of the frosting again to give it a smooth finish. Next, place a small amount of frosting on your spatula and start going around the sides of the cake. Do this completely around the cake, smoothing the frosting with a spatula as you go. When you have covered the entire cake, spin the cake stand around a few times to evenly cover the sides of the cake with meringue. Clean any excess from your spatula and holding it with the inside blade next to the cake, slowly spin the cake stand to give you a smooth finish. Next, take a serrated edge scraper and hold it against the cake side and spin your cake board. 
go completely around the cake several times to seamlessly add ornamental lines to the sides of the cake. Throughout this process, excess icing will gather around the top edge of the cake. Use a clean offset spatula to carefully smooth that icing out. Start from the outside and make a quick swiping motion towards the middle of the cake, covering a very small section. Wipe your spatula each time you do this, and continue this motion until you go completely around the cake. To clean up the bottom of the cake, place the edge of the offset spatula against the cake and the cake stand. Spin the cake stand to remove the extra frosting. Now you can move the cake from the cake stand using the offset spatula to lift and move it onto the decorative cake board. Clean the cake stand and place the cake and cake board back on the stand. Next, it's time to decorate the fraisier. Begin by preparing a piping bag and 5mm tip. Spoon the Italian meringue buttercream into the bag. Begin at the bottom of the cake and using a plain tip, pipe a border all around the base of the cake. Remove the cake from the cake stand and place it in the refrigerator. For this next step, you need a cool work surface such as a granite counter to roll out a prepared marzipan disc. Add a dusting of powdered sugar to your worktop. Unwrap the marzipan and work it with your hands to soften it and make it easier to roll. You can also sprinkle the marzipan with just a little bit of powdered sugar to prevent it from sticking to the rolling pin. Roll out the marzipan turning it or the rolling pin frequently to get a consistent thickness. It's important to lift the marzipan from your work surface and turn it occasionally to make sure it's not sticking. Once you've reached the desired thickness, use a cake ring to cut out a circle. Remove the remaining marzipan. Take your shortcake from the refrigerator. You may need to use a scraper to loosen the edges of the marzipan from the counter. Then lift it and place it on the top of your cake, smoothing it out so there are no bubbles or bumps. You now want to stamp the top of the cake with a cake marker by gently pressing it into the marzipan. Use the cake marker to prepare it for easy cutting. This tool can be set for 12 or 16 slices simply by turning it upside down. Prepare a fresh piping bag by cutting the tip inserting a stainless steel star tip and adding the meringue. Again, use the scraper tool to easily push it into the tip. Pipe rosettes around the top of the cake, one for each slice marked by the cake marker. Take whole strawberries and cut them in quarters, leaving the leaves on top for color. Dip a pastry brush into a saucepan of neutral glaze and gently glaze each strawberry quarter. Then place the strawberry on each of the buttercream rosettes, positioning the green stem towards the outside edge of the cake. Place a strawberry in each marked slice all around the top of the cake. And that is how you prepare a perfect French-style strawberry sponge cake or fraisier, scored for easy cutting.